Here we are with a look at a 2016 Subaru Outback or Legacy. The dashboard is the same. This is the limited trim level and we're going to take a look at the controls on this center console, this area right in here. That's what this little thingamajig here is for. I should probably look up the name for it. I always tell people it's kind of like a mouse and that it's at about 7 o'clock on the steering wheel if you look at it as a round analog clock. So, to control this, you've got your hand on the wheel, and that's the point. You're going to pull down, 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 or up, up, up. And what that is, just going through a cycle of things that are on the center screen. Whoa! Drop the camera. All right. Refocus. Okay, so there's information up here. So right now, you're looking at a screen that has uh, your average miles per gallon, where the uh, dot, dot, dot MPG, as you drive, that's gonna change to show you the mileage that you're getting as you drive. And then below that is a little gas pump and it says 50 miles till you need gas, also known as the range. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click this down like that. And the next one is saying, hey, you've been running that engine for two minutes and you've gone zero miles. Now I'm going to click the down again, and there's a digital speedometer, which is the same as the analog over here. People like digital in the middle for some reason. And uh, then also, one more click gives you a compass. One more click down. This is where you would go in and make changes, and I'll give you just a real brief overview of that. And then another click is just blank, if you just prefer to not have anything up there at all. And now we're back to average miles per gallon, which uh, is 9.1 for the first 50, or what is it? 17 miles that are on this car, so that'll definitely get better. Our range is still 50 miles, and now we're back to the average miles per gallon. So now, if I was to pull the up right here, it's going to take us through the same choices, but in the opposite direction. So see, that's up, that's down, that's up, that's down, that's down, that's up. It keeps going through the same things. When you're on this screen, this is where you'd go in to make changes to the readouts and other things on from your center dashboard. So it's saying pull and hold the I slash set switch for the menu. That's this one in the middle. So I'm gonna pull and hold it, and this will change. Now I'm gonna let go. So we have an option. If you look down here, one of six options. Screen settings is one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the little down clicker. The other one is eyesight. That's two of six. The next one is the blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert. The next one is the vehicle settings. And so to make a selection to say, I wanna do vehicle settings, you're gonna click this middle one just like it was a mouse. So I'm gonna click it once and now it says, okay, one of your vehicle settings is the keyless entry system. And that's one of six. So as I click the down, I can change the defogger. I can change the interior light. These are settings, and I can change the automatic headlights. Also, the welcome lighting. Go back means, okay, I'm done with this menu. So I'm going to stay on go back. I'm going to click this like a mouse, and I've gone back to the vehicle settings, which is one of the six changes. So I'm going to go down, down, default settings. There's go back, and I'm going to click that right there. And we're back to the settings screen. Most people don't really go into the settings that much, but we'll make a series of videos on those different things. Most, I just wanted, the, the number one question is what do those things do? Or sometimes you wanna know how they can see their miles per gallon. So let's go, most people like to leave it uh, right there with the digital speedometer, or they like to get in there and see their real miles per gallon as they're driving and their range. There you go, controls on the steering wheel of the Outback and Legacy. Thank you very much for visiting edscarpage.com.